Mad Wolf is pissed. By the way, there's Arctic Fixin. Which is ironically, she's playing a fucking Nintendo. Which I'm trying not to advertise because of... Oh yeah, you might want to beware playing the Nintendo 3DS on camera, Arctic, seeing as though how many fucking disputes we're getting. I'm not mad at her. There is a point to this. So yeah, I was watching Millennium. Millennium, in case you don't know, ah, I got this phone on a charger right now because apparently the flash is about to die. Millennium is a show from the late 90s starring Lance Henriksen. As Frank Black, he's kind. He's a like criminal profiler, and he's able to see through the eyes of the killer. Um, it was a pretty interesting show. I really liked it. Um, I kind of forgot his name earlier, and Arctic wound up correcting me. Thank you, Arctic. I didn't think I was gonna remember it, honestly. <laughs> she should have seen it. She's like Lance from well, kind of like uh, that guy from Rumble in the Bronx. I don't <laughs> know if you guys know. I'm not showing that video. Oh, and that's what gets me to the point. Um, I will say, because I said this in the last video before my battery died, um, Lance Henriksen, interesting enough, was going to be the Terminator. I I imagine instead of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator, you had Bishop from Aliens just pretty much mowing anyone named Sarah Connor down. It would have been pretty interesting, Arctic. Although I did make the comment, wasn't he essentially kind of like a Terminator in Aliens? Yeah, he was kind of like a good Terminator. However, good Terminator. here's the funny thing. Aliens is directed, and I think it's written by, the same guy that wrote and directed the Terminator. James Cameron. James Cameron is freaking awesome. I love James Cameron. Do you know who I do not love right now? Fucking Nintendos. Do you know why? Here's why. Just uploaded this uh, artisticness video. <clears throat> Includes copyrighted content. Now, I'm going to look in here. And I'm going to show you guys the fucking problem. This video has been monetized by the claimant. It says right there. I do not monetize my videos. I do not get any ad revenue or anything like that. I actually... I don't even like uploading commercial songs. The songs that I do is... Songs that I downloaded from OC Remix. Uh, I do not ask for their permissions. I realize that's kind of a shitty thing to do. However, I do not ask for their permissions because one, I have two jobs. And uploading these videos do take time. So technically, I kind of have three jobs. One is an unpaying piece of shit job. And second, the reason why is because I actually credit everyone um, in my video descriptions. I, I give, I even flat out say, you know, you can find these songs on ocremix.org. I really love that website, I really love the artists there, and I really try to share their work to basically be like, hey guys, look at this cool shit. However, not really anybody really looks at our videos anyway, so it's kind of like they're really not getting that good advertisement from us, but hey, you know what, I'm trying to be like, these guys do good videos. Anyway, so this claimant is Audium. It's not Nintendo, but it's Audium. Now looking it up, it's some kind of... We're, it's one of those things where it's like we're automatically going to detect your shit if there is shit. And here's what they say. Actually, I'm not going to bother playing it. Um, if you want to find out what it is, you can actually look at that time period right there. I am going to publicly broadcast this video for pretty much anyone who wants to know how pissed off at Nintendo I am. Um, I am not going to dispute this claim. This is not the first claim by uh, Nintendo that we had received. I know it says Audium, but Audium is just an automat is just one of those. We're automatically gonna put a claim on this, and we're doing it for Nintendo or something like that. Nintendo had also put a copyright claim on uh, Arctic Vixen playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. And me playing Star Fox Zero. 
and this really pisses me off because I do the we did these videos to basically show what the gameplay is is it worth buying the money well and here's the thing we both really like Nintendo we did um I am not going to dispute this claim instead I am never gonna buy another goddamn Nintendo I am not gonna buy another game for our Nintendos I might even sell our Nintendos to be honest I wouldn't blame you I know you still like your 3DS so maybe not that one but well, I, I have to. I'm not gonna be a Nazi and be like see here sell Nintendo <laughs> okay I'm not gonna do that but I am going to say, if any from, anybody who works for Nintendo is watching this video, I am not buying a Nintendo Switch. I am not waiting in line. I am not going dic to be dicked around by your company. Because, frankly, you guys are putting... You guys are getting money for fan-made shit. Okay? That is bullshit. Um... There's really nothing else I could say to that. I drew, I painted a fan made, I painted a picture I designed of Rosalina and some Lumas. Just by saying that name, I'm afraid Nintendo is going to put a copyright claim on this video. Art shouldn't be about that. Art should not be about, oh, I'm afraid of the big corporation. You know what? Nintendo is also supposed to be this family friendly corporation and yet i feel like as fans we're getting shit on i feel that from the nintendo company and i am pissed i am just bottom line pissed about this to the point where i will not spend another dime on a nintendo i will not buy a classic nintendo i will not buy a super nintendo i will not buy anything else for the nintendo 64 whether it's through amazon or anything like that. I will not support Nintendo at all. So I hope you guys are happy with the copyright claims. I am not going to. I guess I'm not even going to do fan art for Nintendo. But uh, Nintendo things. Why? Because you know they want to take a dump on us and basically be like, <laughs> all these views are getting us money. So, you know, if you want to just be greedy little penny grabbers, then, yeah, you don't need customers buying pre-ordering games. Um, you don't need you don't need people, uh, you know, buying $60 games, $500 game systems. You don't need people waiting in line. And I'm pissed. I am seriously pissed. And I used to praise your company. I used to love the Super Nintendo. I loved the Nintendo 64. I loved the GameCube. I loved the Wii. Matter of fact, I remember when the Wii was coming out, I was one of the only people around here that really wanted one because everyone else said, you're going to look like a fucking idiot playing a Wii. And I said, hey, you know what? Nintendo's doing something really cool. They are being innovative with motion control technology. Could you imagine first-person shooters on the Wii? And I really just, I really praised the Wii, and I really loved it. Now I'm pissed. And that is really sad that a company has done that to, you know, I want I guess I wouldn't say I'm a loyal customer. Not 100% of my paychecks go to a brand new Nintendo game. But, you know, I do feel like, where's the fair use? Um, I do feel as though... As I don't even know what the hell you'll call us casual bloggers. That ding was just uh, my corn dogs being cooked in the oven. Um, yeah, I don't know if you'd call us casual vloggers or anything like that. I I don't really know what you would label Arctic Vixen and Mad Wolf as. All I know is we play games. We want to share our. We want to share the games that we play. And, honestly, I am just, I'm half tempted to just burn the Nintendos, the Nintendos that we own. I just feel like, shoot them with a shotgun or something. That's how pissed I am at the Nintendo Corporation right now. So, um, that said, let's bring back Sega. Where's Sega? Let's bring back Sega. I want another, I want a new Sega. I want... 
I'm just gonna spitball a name here. The Dreamcast 2 should be the Infinity. No, that I think Infinity Engine's already something made. Um, the Universe Exploder, the Sega Universe Exploder. I want Sega. Sega Millennium. I don't think that'll work because we're already in 2007. Where that one's like 17 okay. years too late. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, trying to. Think no, it's a, a cool. It's a. It's a cool terminology. Matter of fact, um, hell, why not just call it? No, Sega Mega Drive's already done. The Sega Mega System. Anyway, I got the phone ringing now because people want to keep bugging the shit out of us. Yeah. So anyway, that's our vlog. Have a good one. By the way, guys, that phone call was a telemarketer scamming us about final notice from the IRS. If it was a final notice, I guarantee it would not be a cold, heartless fucking machine. And I'm just going to end this video with this note. Fucking Nintendo, as far as my shit list goes, you are on the same level as the uh, telemarketers trying to scam us about grabbing our money.